Hi guys, it's Stormforce here. Uh, here to show off my latest Gmod contraption. It's a three digit rotary combination lock. Um, this is uh, it's been built for a Garry's Mod showcase titled uh, Securing a Room. Uh, it doesn't exactly secure a room. First off, it isn't really a room, it's a bit small. And uh, it's not very secure either. Um, if you force a prop into it, it just breaks or sometimes opens. This is one of the first things I've done for a while, which is mainly physical. Um, there's not a lot of wire mod. Just to... Uh, well, I'll show you the wire mod in a minute. Um, so to open the lock, what you do is uh, you first reset it by turning it twice in your chosen direction, and then dial in the first number, which is a 12. Then you turn it in the opposite direction one turn, and then dial in the second number, which is a 6, I think. And then you turn it in the opposite direction and dial in the third number, which is a 10. And just like magic, the door opens. And you can get at your, uh, well, why are we keeping it? In my case, uh, Big Stature and Melons. And uh, here you can see the rotors. This is the locking mechanism. There are three rotors, one for each digit. Uh, and they each have a slot in the top with a ranger pointing into it so it can sense the, the slot. Um, once all three are aligned at the, at the top, the lock opens. And uh, each one, the first one, the one closest to the door, is directly linked to the uh, dial. And then the other two are linked using two tabs, which only link when you turn it in turn. Uh, so to open it, you have to get them all, all the tabs lined up and then dial in the first number, which oh, um, it does jump a bit if you push it too hard because they're a bit heavy. Um, so you just wait. <laughs> okay, so you dial in the 12 and then you turn in the opposite direction one turn to pick up the second tab and then dial in the second number which is the six and then you turn it in the opposite direction and dial in the third number and then the rangers sense that there's a slot underneath them and say open uh, the main thing I've added to the design is um, a way of uh, s setting the combination. You can see that the three rotors are split in two. Uh, one of the discs is connected to the tabs and the other one has the slot in. And uh, if you uh, want to set it, you um, press the uh, set button, which is down here that then locks the slots in position and disconnects the tabs from the slots so then when you dial in a combination you change it basically so we'll go for um, I think 10 and then uh, one turn in the opposite direction yep gently does it and we'll go for 5 and then back in the other direction and we'll have a 1 Uh, then you have to turn the set mode off and then scramble the dial and then the door shuts so then we open it again we just do the same thing I've already reset it so just dial in the 10 carefully and then one turn 5 1 and there you have it. Um, I might um, work this into a bigger door so that I can actually try to secure a room. But um, th the problem with it is the amount of uh, moving parts make it quite delicate. I think if I possibly set the lock separate from the door then there might be a way of doing it. But I'll look into it and get back to you. <laughs> So uh, that's it.
Goodbye.